Hey guys, it's Nick, and this week is all about BLE, or Bluetooth Low Energy, and a new product range from RF Digital called Simly that's going to help you integrate it into your next project. The Simbly is a development platform for BLE that you can program using the Arduino programming language. This makes it similar to the ESP8266 Thing dev board, except instead of connecting over Wi-Fi through the internet to your device, it connects directly to your device using Bluetooth Low Energy. There is an app available via the Simbly website that allows you to actually create an interface in the Arduino programming language that shows up on your phone so that you can create apps to interact with your BLE project without having to learn Xcode for iPhone or the Android SDK for Android. The Simbly module itself is a small, low-powered device which we've rolled into a number of form factors so that you can use it with your favorite development tools. The first of which is the RFduino DIP module, and this fits with the rest of the RFduino stackable development modules from RF Digital. The nice thing about RFduino is that you don't have to solder anything to get it up and running. You can simply stack the modules together, plug them into your computer, and start writing your application. Now, if you already have some of the RFduino parts, you can buy just the module itself, but we are also carrying the RFduino assembly starter kit, and that comes with the programming module, an RGB shield, and of course, the assembly module itself. If what you want is a dead simple breakout for the assembly module, then we have that as well, our assembly BLE breakout. Now, this is just the assembly module with a voltage regulator, a reset button, a user-definable button, and a status LED. This is probably the easiest way to get the assembly into your project without having all of the extra hardware that might be on your sort of kitchen sink dev board. And for your wearable projects, we've developed the LilyPad assembly. BLE is an awesome standard for wearable devices, and we wanted to make sure that we provided some platform that you can easily sew into your soft circuits and wearable projects. We've broken out a few of the I.O., as well as the power pins, and we've given you an FTDI header so that you can program it. Well, that's all we've got this week, but make sure to check in next week for more new products.